agree with you, Rich. I think that uh, people might not have expected as much from him as he's showing. And it's not to say he's dominating the fight. I don't believe he is. He's got a he's got a long jab, and every now and then he'll he'll he won't bring that jab all the way back. He'll throw a little quick hook off of it. George, I know you're you're kind of you've always been an advocate of when you have a big guy who's a lot bigger than a small than the other guy to kind of lean on him and, and uh, wear That's him down right. if you if can. You, why not? Be, if you're big and tall, you got to use all that. Don't, uh, if, don't feel sorry. Make the guy feel your weight. Good point. So uh, Salida, although even though it seems like he's at at a better advantage if he keeps the fight outside when they get close, you kind of drape himself on him. Put your weight on him. Please. Move all, do a lot of body shots. This fight is going to go round after round, and those body shots are what's going to save uh, Salada. McCall has just got to make him be in this place just a little more for the right hand. See the left uh, cut, try to come in there when he bends his head down. Good exchange there, but again, neither man going backward. So too. There's an uppercut. Now the call gets over to the left hand and a right hand. And another good sharp right hand at the top of the head. He's looking for that right, baby. Yeah, he is. Had a cock for about 10 seconds. Uppercut right hand. Down goes Salado. is an uppercut and that's what happened that's the one that started him on the way good sharp right hand you saw his knees buckle that's that uppercut one after another never lose your height advantage by bending your head forward for the uppercut now the other thing i thought he did too was very savvy is when salita tried to grab him and tie him up he just stepped back and wouldn't allow kept his patience kept focused stayed close Eyes wide open, fighting like he's about 27 years old. Yeah, he really did. I mean, he came in here with an idea, and you know, it, his name is going to start to get mentioned again. No doubt about it. This is a good show for him. And it was the uppercut that really did it. The right yeah. hand finished it, but that uppercut did it. And I think this will be a TKO incident. The referee stopped the fight. Don't believe they will call this a knockout, but that's just verbiage. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. and find out. Two minutes, 40 
seconds in round number four. The referee in charge, Gino Rodriguez, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, the Atomic Bull, Oliver McCall. Oliver McCall at 40 years of age, uh, as we said, George, will now start to get mentioned again in this yeah, oh, muddled heavyweight picture. As far as I'm concerned, 40 is youngsters. I know that. I know that. I feel it was about 45 years when I became heavyweight champ of the world, so he's in the prime of his life. Now he's got to live good now. As far as I'm concerned, you're a youngster. <laughs> but the idea that the guy was able to make this tall guy lean forward a little bit into those uppercuts, something that couldn't have happened in the first two rounds because of the height and reach that Salada had. Well, as we said, this was a guy that was supposed to have fought on the under Card. This was supposed to be an all Polish heavyweight fight between uh, Salada and Andrew Golata. And Golata dropped out, and uh, suddenly Oliver McCall took the call and made good on it. Oliver McCall is, uh, he just will not go away. He's there because of that punch, though. You can go away if you're a good boxer, but when you're a good puncher, you can always hang an extra year. All right, right now, center of the ring, Rich Barada with Oliver McCall. Rich. Well, Oliver McCall, welcome back. It's amazing that uh, you're in this kind of a situation once again. I know you heard the cheers of that crowd here tonight. I was overwhelming. First of all, I want to thank all the people of Chicago. I'll be home soon, Mariah. I love you. That's my granddaughter, Natasha McCall Smith. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oliver, as you, as you got close to the ring tonight, I could see that emotion coming out on you once again as you got near the ring, and I could see that you kind of went into that trance of yours and that you really wanted to get in there and make it happen for yourself once again. Yeah, well, you know, it, I was I trained hard for the fight, and, and, and when I came here, you know, I wanted my, my, my wife and kids to be here, but unfortunately they ain't here. I love them. It's for all y'all back there. But I have my other family with me. You know, my nieces, my nephews, I love them all. And and the people, the fans, thank you. I just thank you for the fight. To, I just wanted to congratulate you because it was yeah. a great fight. And there's a fight I actually I wanted to win, of course, but there's a fight yeah. I wanted to be happening. So I didn't want to run and stick. And you were trying just to hit me. And I prefer to stand up in front of you and yes. try to win this way. But nice so fight. Thank you very much. Nice fight. No problem. All right, Saleda with his congratulations. Let's talk a little bit about the fight itself. It seemed as though at times, uh, Oliver, that long jab of his, which is very long, that was uh, causing you some trouble. Were you were you waiting for the for the opportunity? Yeah, well, it was causing me a little trouble, but the little trouble was it wasn't a hard jab. It wasn't hurting me. It was more or less annoying me because it, it didn't get me, give me time to get my leverage. Once I saw I couldn't get my leverage with my right hand like I wanted, I saw that I could hit him with uppercuts, but then I, I lured him in, and I saw that he was open. So in the fourth round, I said, wait up. It's time to come with the uppercut and then come with the right hand, and that's what I've done. And now Don King, who was given a I lot of heavyweights a second too. chance. Yes. Yes. Don, you gave uh, Oliver McCall still another chance. He came through for you tonight, and I guess he's back in the mix again. Huh? Yes, he is. He's a great fighter, and he deserved an opportunity. He's a good fighter. He's a strong man, and he proved it tonight beating the guy that's a, really, a great Polish fighter in Shemek. And so I think Oliver is back in the mix now, and we're just going to go after anybody and everybody that will take him on. Now I'll take on anybody that come on, because right, I want that title. Before you get away, Oliver, let's take a look at the end of the fight, and we're going to ask you to take a look at it here in our monitor and describe what was yeah. going on. Well, it's the uppercut. Watch. There it go. You know, it was the uppercut. I knew I heard him then. It was just a matter of putting hooks, right hands, come back with the uppercut. I'm trying to set him up for the uppercut, back with the jab, come back. All right, now I know I can hit him with the uppercut or the right hand, so that's why I just, boom, right hand, coming back. Now, the uppercut is still what I want to, want to get him with, though. But, see, there it go. And that done it. That's it. Left uppercut right hand. Down he went. End of story. Spell it KO. No doubt about it. Yeah. We'll take another look at it here. Right. But you knew the, the moment that you had him. I knew once I heard him, he wasn't going to get away. Now, the left uppercut, then right hand, it was over. Well, Oliver, all we can do is offer our congratulations and once again say welcome back. Oh, thank you very much. All right, there he is, the winner, a happy winner here tonight, Oliver McCall. Let's go back down to ringside and very top. All right, thanks very much, Rich. Well, the happy winner, of course, with very good reason. I mean, this is the guy, as we said, just simply will not go away. He's like that cockroach, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but he just, every time you write him off, every time you think he's all done dancing, well, Oliver McCall's got one last waltz, and uh, 
he'll be right back at least in conversation in the heavyweight division I would have to say that he'd probably need another fight or two but this was a very good win for him and he he did show some skills and certainly he showed that same kind of pop that he's always had so heavyweight championship I don't know if that's in the future but at least people are going to talk about it two heavyweight champions are in our immediate future though and they are with Jim Hill right now Jim all right Barry thank you very much